There are kids down there, Madam President. There's children on every ship in the fleet. These children work in the refinery. They're 12, 15 years old. There have been families aboard the refinery ever since its beginning. And others were picked up after the Cylons attacked the colonies. Over the past two years, the parents have been teaching the children how to operate the machinery they have been passing along their skills. It is perfectly normal. It is not ideal, I know that. But there is nothing ideal about this fleet. Do you see what's happening? The jobs are starting to be inherited, Madam President. We don't know how long we're going to be on these ships. What if it's 10 years? So I, I, I train my son to be a deckhand because that's what I am, and that's all he can ever be? Is that the future we want? That's a really good point. Tori, I want you to make a list of everyone in the fleet who has a work history appropriate to the refinery. Factory workers, mechanics, whatever you think. Give it to the chief, and I want you to hold a public lottery. And we will take people from other vessels and we will put them on ships in the refinery. How's that, Chief? Thank you. Thank you. So that's our allotment from Darksville. I'm gonna get these people on these ships and out of here before they know where they're going. Hmm. All right, people, let's go. Excuse me, you sir. Come down here, Hi. Over here. Um, I don't really know who I'm supposed to talk to you about this, but I don't really think I'm um, what you guys are looking for. I don't really have the skills. What's your name? I Danny Noon. No, no. Forget Noon. 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 Daniel says you're a farmer. Farmer. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. People to work with heavy machinery. No, but I don't. Not really. I I worked on a farm for a summer because I was saving up to go to college, architecture. But then Cylons attacked, and now I'm a farmer. How is that fair? How is that in any way fair? Give me a second. We make an exception for this guy, there's gonna be 15 more right behind him. Look at him though, he's a kid. Fine, put him on the ship. Uh, look, this is just a temporary thing, okay? No, wait, hold on, I'm not a farmer. Yeah, it's not permanent. No, wait, can you just check my record? Yeah. I, excuse me, who am I supposed to talk to about this? Who am I supposed to talk to about this? You don't understand, I'm not a farmer. Hey, stop it, I'm not a farmer. Book, fact or fiction? So you read it. Well, that proves that the president's an accomplished liar. She told me I hadn't got out. So what did you make of it? I think that it's a pile of crap. Obviously, my analysis of a bifurcated society scares you. But everything in my book happens to be true. What's well, true? It's true that you're a farm boy from Aralon. Yes, it is, as a matter of fact. I was born and raised on a dairy outside the town of Cuttle's Breath Wash on Aragon. Why do I have such a hard time picturing you milking cows and shoveling manure? Lack of imagination. Or maybe that your little tail is manure. Hmm. I've known people from Aragon. You don't sound anything like them. I don't sound like I'm from Aragon. No. Well, you know, I take that as a particular compliment. I don't know about you, but I've always found the Aralan dialect to be particularly hard on the ears. Something about the consonants that scrape the back of the throat. Mm. Of course, I should know an awful lot about my native tongue. I spent hours on end trying to overcome it. Do you have any idea how hard it is for a 10-year-old boy to change the way he speaks? To unlearn everything he ever learned? So that one day, one day, there might be the small hope that you might be considered as not coming from Aralon. Maybe, I don't know, Caprica. Caprica. Oh, Caprica. 
seat of politics, culture, art, science, learning. And what was Aragon? Just a drab, ugly rock condemned to be the food basket for the 12 worlds. And that's how I would treat it, like servants, like laborers, like working class. You know you'd have fitted right in there, Chief. Lots of men who like to work with their hands and uh, grab a pint down the pub and finish off the evening with a good old-fashioned fight. Oh, yes. I left Aragon after my 18th birthday. I turned my back on my family, on my heritage, all of them. Of course, it doesn't matter that they're all dead now. You do realize that None of that exists here. <laughs> Coming from the mouth of a mechanic. We've kept democracy. We have government, we have rights, we have elections. Well, then you should feel perfectly happy, shouldn't you? Perfectly at ease. Go home, leave me in peace. After all, that's what the aristocracy wants. It wants the working class to feel looked after while they scrabble around for scraps from the master's table. There's a question I ask at the end of my book. I'll save you the trouble of reading it. Do you honestly believe that the fleet will ever be commanded by somebody whose last name is not Adama? There it is, Chief. One set of rules for the aristocracy and one set of rules for the rest of us.